It is a historic day in the state of Maryland. Recreational marijuana is now officially legal just two months after Governor Westmore signed the Cannabis Reform Act into law on May 3rd. Caroline Forback reports from a dispensary in Annapolis. Anyone over 21 can now walk into a dispensary like this one and purchase cannabis for recreational use. Dispensaries will have to keep medical patients and adult use customers separate. Customers will also have to pay a 9% sales tax, just like with alcohol. I'm proud to say that we in Maryland are helping to write a new chapter of the story of cannabis in America. A chapter that's focused on economic growth and equity. Saturday, Maryland turned over a new leaf when it comes to cannabis. So I came out here to celebrate and see, you know, a historical moment for Maryland and for the industry. Across the state, dispensaries are welcoming hundreds, even thousands of new clients. So we got a blissful wizard, we got this gelato. Looking to legally purchase cannabis without a medical card. I'm honestly big on edibles lately. I use them for um, pain, cramps, and I use them um, for my anxiety. Governor Westmore signed the Cannabis Reform Act into law on May 3rd. It created a framework for adult use cannabis in Maryland. This is one grant. One grant. Allowing existing medical dispensaries to convert their license in order to sell both adult use and medical cannabis. And it is extremely exciting for the access to just have moved like 30 fold um, and to know that people who we've been helping for five years, we can now help so many more. For those interested in applying for a new license to sell cannabis, the Cannabis Reform Act requires that all applicants in round one qualify as social equity applicants who have lived in disproportionately impacted areas, which the state defines as areas that had above 150 percent of the state's 10-year average for cannabis possession charges. We're ensuring that the legalization of cannabis lists the communities affected by criminalization. Attorney General Anthony Brown said in a statement today that ushering in this new era also means expunging the records of those who were, quote, targeted in the enforcement of cannabis laws. Reporting in Annapolis, Caroline Fortback, WJZ.